Welcome! This video will show you how to use the Multi-Directional Plus PTZ Camera PNM9320 VQP. The PNM9320 VQP is a Multi-Directional Plus PTZ Camera which has five sensors in one camera. Users can monitor large areas in 360 degrees simultaneously with the four-channel camera while the PTZ camera zooms into the desired area for a closer inspection. To use the camera, purchase the lenses designed for the PNM9320 VQP. You can choose a wide variety of exchangeable lenses from 2 megapixel, 2.4 millimeter, to 5 megapixel, 7.0 millimeter for the four sensors in the PNM9320 VQP, and obtain an optimal field of view for desired areas. The 2 megapixel 32x PTZ camera can zoom into the desired area for closer inspection. These are the camera contents in the PNM9320 VQP package. Now, let's begin installing the PNM9320 VQP. First, use the drill bit in the package to loosen the bolts of the window cover. Remove the window cover from the camera body using the rubber seal on the sides of the window cover. Repeat the same process to disassemble the SD card door. Next, let's take a look at the features of each camera component. On the camera body, there is a power switch to turn on and off the device while replacing the lens module. The reset button is right next to the power switch. The test monitor out port and DIP switch to change channels are located next to the reset button. Below, the buttons are the lens module status LEDs to check whether the lens module is connected correctly for each channel. The camera has micro SD card slots in two places. The micro SD card slot for the four-channel multi-directional camera is located where the SD card door was disassembled. You can insert the micro SD card for the PTZ by removing the dome cover. The dome cover is removed only to insert the micro SD card for the PTZ. Do not remove the cover for any other purposes. Now, let's see how to mount the lens on the camera. You can mount four exchangeable lenses on the lens module dock of the camera body. Before connecting the lens module and the camera body, please check the following. Install the lens module while the power is not connected. Check if the power switch is off before installing the lens module. The lens consists of the lens module and the camera connector. The camera connector is on the bottom of the lens. Align and fasten the connectors of the lens module and the camera body in the direction of the arrow. When inserting the lens module, insert it until the top and bottom hooks click. Connect the power to the device and turn the power switch on. If the lens module is successfully connected, the green LED is on. If not, the LED will turn red. If the LED is red, turn off the power switch and remount the module so the light can switch from red to green. The LED will turn off after 40 seconds to prevent undesirable reflections. You can manually move each of the four lenses along the bottom rail and adjust the pan, tilt, and rotation settings. The safety pin and the connection ports to assemble with the install base are located on top of the camera body. Next, let's take a look at the install base. The top part of the install base has the joint and the cap. The connection ports are located on the bottom to connect to the camera body. The alarm in and out terminals and the HPOE connection port are located inside the install base. 
Let's get started with installing the camera. For the installation, we need optional accessories. Next is mounting the PNM 9320 VQP on the wall or the ceiling using the optional bracket. Thread the network cable through the mount pole and the install base and assemble the install base with the mount pole. Connect the Ethernet cable to the interface PCB while ensuring the cable length is appropriate to prevent cable kinks in the install base. Now, let's move on to assembling the camera body with the install base connected to the mount pole. First, connect the safety cable of the camera body to the install base. Next, align the guiding arrows of the install base and the camera body and then rotate the camera clockwise. Lock the camera and the base with the L-shaped wrench. Adjust the direction and the viewing angle of each lens to set the viewing direction. When setting the viewing direction, use the video output port and the provided cable to watch the live view of the installed camera. Assemble the window cover to the camera body. Tighten the screws. The installation of the PNM9320 VQP is completed. Once you've installed the PNM9320 VQP, perform calibration of the PTZ to link the multi-directional camera and the smart zoom of the PTZ camera. From the Web Viewer setting page, go to the PTZ calibration menu. Click a position you want in the Fixed View window. Adjust the PTZ so that the same point selected in the Fixed View window is placed over the plus mark in the PTZ window and click the Save Calibration Point button. Once the calibration point is saved, a tick will appear in the circle below. Repeat in three other places to save other calibration points. Once all four calibration points are saved, a green tick will appear above the selected channel number. If the saved points are incorrect, click the Reset button to delete all the calibration points and save the correct points instead. Repeat the same calibration steps used for channel 1 for the other channels of the multidirectional camera. Once the calibration is complete, a green tick will appear above a channel number. To adjust the location of the multi-directional camera, perform calibration of the PTZ again. The PTZ calibration of PNM9320 VQP is completed. For more information, visit www.hanwha-security.com. WiseNet, Hanwha TechWin.